Infanta Munia Garcias. She's a courtier. She's charming, impatient, sadistic, and shy. Sounds like a good combination. <laughs> Can I actually do that? She will accept. And she's marrying down, which is great. This is fantastic. Oh, also we're related, so that's a bit of a problem. Dang it, so many cousins! I <laughs> have so many cousins! Okay, let's... Let's see. West Francia. I'm sure you have a princess somewhere. Well, that is the case for this little pri little princess, but it's gonna be a long, long time. What's my... Yeah, my family situation is, is not great at the moment. There is always the character finder, but I'm always a little bit afraid to use it because you never know with, uh, you know, it's it, who they are and all that. Beatrice, for example, over here. She's Castellan. She is lowborn, so that isn't amazing. Not lowborn, though. Let's see what we can do about that. Emma. We could marry Emma. She might like me. I doubt it. She sort of hates me a little bit, and I get no prestige from that. You know what? We need it. We need it, and she's good at this. She's she's really good. Oh, hopefully she's not infertile or anything. She's pregnant already, so that's actually actually kind of good. Who was she married with? Or two? I thought I had married her... Oh, wait a minute. Was she married to the bug? Oh, this is going to be great. She was married. She's my wife now. That's great. She was married to my bugged... Uh, Chancellor or the the that guy that had a bug. Let's look at the court here. Yes, she's not here or he's not here Unless he's my vassal, which I believe he was he was like a mayor or somewhere Wow, this is gonna be great. Actually. I'm losing a lot of money. This that's not as great Let's keep an eye on who wants power uh, positions. So Baron Madrubal of Gimaraish over here is Relatively good as a steward. Let's keep track of what's going on here in steward. Count Pons over here. Does Count Pons want? Yes, Count Pons does want a position. There you go. Next up. That might get my money a little bit better. Because it's getting extra domain taxes. It's not that much, but it is. it matters. And Count Pedro of Braganza, who hates me, is generally a bad person. I mean, by bad person, I mean he's not good at much. <laughs> I could substitute him for my spy master. That might get him out of, of the faction against me, but I doubt it. So what we're looking for is high diplomacy here for that. Etienne is a knight. Mayor Sancho of Braga. Sounds good to me. Let's go with that. And you, hopefully, don't... You're my brother. No, you're my uncle, actually. Yes, you are the brother of my, of my previous character. Hmm. Next up. I need a court physician. That's probably not going to be an issue. We're going to worry about that in a little bit. Because I am making my wife be better at chivalry. And hopefully that inc... What? What? What happened to my army? This is terrible. This is terrible. I need, I'm going to need to declare a white war. A uh, uh, white peace. Even though I'm focusing on Mar or Marshall, I'm... What happened to my army? What is wrong with that? I think it's a bug. It's gotta be a bug. Let's not worry about that at the moment. I can negotiate an alliance with Count Ramiro, however. Count Ramiro... Wait a minute. Aren't you the Count of Tui? You're not allied to me? I'm your liege. Maybe I'm not. Maybe that's why I lost my... My people up here. First in line for Pravia and for Asturias. Wow, actually, that is amazing. I'm first in line for the kingdom itself. That's amazing. Kingdom, kingdom of Asturias having a bunch of other stuff over there, as you could see on the map. So, yeah, our levies are just... They're not feeling too well. I can't fully understand how they work. We could get extra light footmen or just extra people, but the lack of money is going to be a real issue. And I don't want to do that. There's a dangerous faction. There is. It's Count Peru. It, he's, he might die in the war if they come at me. So let's look at our positions here. So long, let's look at our court. And we look for high learning. Emma, for example, who is a spy master. Or Guillermo, 
with my courtier. He's 40. She's younger. No, she's older. That's a point to escort physician. I need to pay a little bit, but I really do need that. And hopefully I won't die or anything, because that is a huge problem. Uh, alliance has been formed. The number of my troops is really bad. I don't know why that happens. The wedding has been celebrated with my marriage to Duchess Hema. The realm expects us to throw a suitably extravagant wedding celebration. It is well within my rights to collect a royal aid duty as part of this, but some may consider it tasteless to levy an extra tax during a time of jubilation. It is definitely not ta tasteless. It is definitely not tasteless. We're gonna need armies, and I don't understand why that is like that. So I'm I'm really concerned about things. Let's let's do that. People might get upset, but I will create another regiment. We want people who are good at in the hills. Pikemen, for example. Yeah, they're good in the hills, in the desert mountains and mountains. And of course they cost maintenance, but we don't worry about that. And they will pile up over there. Council invitation to my abhorrent vassal. The king also hates me. He also hated my father. This is terrible. You have to I have to come to the inox inexorable conclusion that you truly are the best candidate for a council position. And that would be the marshal. Uh, we're going to accept because this is going to give us bonus bonuses to things that I am not aware of. So we're going to see. So it gives me three prowess. Army gold maintenance lowered. Levy size increased. Monthly martial lifestyle experience. Yeah, that is, that is better. And it's because of the lifestyle that matters for choosing. Okay, so we're going to lose Monterey, but Monterey is not terrible. Mostly... Oh, also we lost somebody. I need to be careful about that because now... Apparently, I can't declare wars on Kansavariku the Astorga. Who did I lose? I don't think I lost any of the marshals. We are, of course, at minus 12, but Teki Kuruño will be very, very important. It's almost there. More places are under siege, and the siege has been won. I have taken a little bit of money. And what do I want to do? Do I want to go back in Monterrey, or do I want to fight them? I want to fight them in Porto. So down the coast we go. Our commander hopefully is good. I mean, I'm very good with Marshall. Porto is under siege. There, There's a lot of them. You know, me not having any alliances is a huge problem. I don't know what's going to happen to this army, but I think I will be catch catching them all. It turns out I'm going to catch only one of them. That's good news. Okay. So that, that's that's perfect news. Who's this guy? Asur. He's of Lyon. He's the spy master of Lyon. We're going to get a little bit more money, I'm sure. So that's good. Me becoming the marshal. As long as I don't get myself killed, that might be very beneficial. So right now, we can ransom him for a little bit of money. Honestly, I should torture you or something, or just do be some, some really evil or something. Still don't fully understand this up here. Oh, you can deactivate the monthly reinforcement from down here. That's pretty nice. I knew you could create the rally points. Those are also pretty nice, but not for right now. These guys have not been raised? Why have you not been raised? That's going to be pretty important. Raise all armies. Okay. So that matters a lot. That's very important, because I'm going to hunt these guys down. It's 18 days until they move. It's 9 days until I meet them in battle. And it's in the hills... I have extra forces. Oh, no. Actually, they, they move pretty quickly. Are they going back to Coruña? Oh, you need to merge. Dude. Yeah, merge. Right there. I wonder if it's, if it's G, like in Europa Universalis. I don't remember how it is in CK2. Child of my dynasty. Not really, but we can pretend that it is. It's Nunu. Nunu, in fact. How do I name a bastard child who is going to be my heir? Hopefully, actually, can we tell how good this bastard child is. Robust. Okay. Fort. Fort is a weird name because it's a it's a surname and it doesn't mean strong. It in the, in the type of the surname it means fort without the t in English. It means this. Uh, but e means strong. With this this means strong. Also it means stronghold, which is what fort stands for. So, I think it's going to be lovely, and uh, we are hopefully not going to get him killed or anything like that. Oh, we did get into battle. Did you see that? I didn't notice that before. That's very important. So, we're fighting half of them at a time. This is brutal. 
they absolutely screwed up. This is the sort of screw up that I do. They're going to take Monterrey. They're going to just be stationary in Monterrey. That's a terrible idea. Okay. And, of course, they're going for Coruña. They have to go for Coruña, right? I, I mean... I need to go after them. Let's go. Let's go after them. We, do, we, do, we, don't, we don't really know. Sinful Bishop has been exposed, but we don't worry about that. We did not capture anybody that I can tell. What a... What a doofus. It's because they're different factions. They can't split... Uh, they can't connect their armies. They can't merge their armies. So we're gonna fight in the mountains. It isn't amazing, obviously. And let's see how we start off. We start off with a plus one over here. We have six knights versus five knights. The advantage is in our favor. Our knight, Count Ponce, maimed Mayor Wimarano. He doesn't feel like it's good to maim mayors. Oh, they're coming in. Good for them. They're hopefully gonna die. So things are not... There it is. Our knight, Baron, was slain. Baron Madrubal. That's kind of a, bomb, a bummer. We still have six knights, but it is what it is. This is a fight to the death. Admittedly, it is a fight that they absolutely have to win. Allied combatants slain. Baron Madrubal, who was bad. And the battle... I wish the battle gave you extra details, and it does. It feels like I'm misreading... <laughs> The, the reports, it's like our knight maimed. No, it's their knight. They do. They did that, I think. Either way, that's a 41% war score. We're going to fight a little bit more. They're probably going to kill one or two because they're really bad. And we captured another enemy combatant. Lop? You jerk. Oh, it might be a different Lop. This might be a different Lop. Let's see what we have. We can ransom Lop. In fact, we can ransom both of them for 10 and for 10. We're probably going to do that after... We are done with this. Mostly because... I hope... We're not gonna need to take too long... To get up to a score that will win us the war. They're regrouping, they need to go back to their countries and all that. But we're regrouping as well. I think what ha what's happening here with our... Levies has to do with who we control and who our vassals are. Let me look at my titles here. So we are the Duke of Portugal... Portugal, sorry, I keep saying the wrong thing. We're the Count of Porto, and we are the Count of Monterrey as well. So we don't have uh, Braga. We don't have a bunch of things, and specifically Braganza, who this guy hates. He keeps, he hates, me. oh, he wants a seat at the council with a minus 40. Holy crap. Dude, you need to get better at this, dude. You, you need to get better at, maybe I, I can change his intrigue. You know what? Emma, who are you? You're married to G Gelia. You're, you are very important to me, but I don't want to die, and that's pretty important. So, disrupt your own schemes, please. That's effectively what I'm telling him to do. Let's look at our war in terms of numbers. We're, we're up against 751, admittedly, but this might shift the war efforts. They're going for Coruña? They might be coming here. With any luck, which I probably won't have, Siege 1, I was going to be able to enforce the men's. Because it's almost there. It's just not quite there. I'm okay with it. We're going to Coruña, and we're going to kill them. Potential battle? We're going to have a lot of potential battles in the way. Can I go to Melid? Could be. Instead, or first. Okay, and now... I go there. Count Pedro is not swayed because he's a jerk. But then, he might not be... I might not need to sway him anymore. It was a good opportunity for us to try. Let's keep track of what my wife is doing. Chivalry. Fair enough. It's not her best. I wonder if I could... Actually, you know what? I need to sway my wife. That's what I need to do. And not sway her, but... I mean, yes, sway her. I need to seduce her and do the sleeping. 20%. She's very distrusting, though. This is going to be tricky. 39. Wow, that's brutal. It's a good thing... 
I don't have a child. She has a child. My half-brother. You might have realized this, but I have married my father's rebound wife. On account of the... He died too fast and I didn't realize who she was. <laughs> this is why I didn't want to use the, the, the character finder. Because I'm like, who are you? Yeah, who are you? I'm your mama. Don't worry about it. It's fine. She's pregnant with my half-brother, who likely is my heir. I need to educate you. Uh, let's see. Educate child. Absolutely. Send proposal. It's going to be fine. No problem whatsoever. However, I absolutely have to seduce you. 20% is 20%. We're going to do what we can. Let's go to war. Oh, those guys are bailing. That's a smart decision, all things considered. Are, is the war is the war gonna happen? Is the battle gonna happen here? It's always so hard to see wh wh if they're moving or not. It's gonna take me six days to arrive and 17 days for them to arrive. So we are gonna fight somebody. Let's just pursue them. Really not great. Seven days for me to arrive. I don't know what they're doing. Faction created against me. Really? The county of Monterey has given rise to peasant rabble targeting you. That's not great. Why? You are you want to be independent? You might want to be independent. You shouldn't be independent. Look at them. These guys got killed. That's what you get for joining me. I have also captured the Mayor Alariku of Villa Visosa. I believe I have been there only the once. It's racing bicycles. So what are you going to do? 10 days, one day for me to arrive, 10 days for me to arrive, and that's 26 days for you to leave, and they're still coming. So we're going to fight here, in the hills, or on the hills, depending on whether we're dwarves or not. Our knight mayor Sancho wounded mayor Egika, and our knight Gelia was wounded by Thorismondo. So that's going to take a little while for them to heal. Uh, we, can, we have prisoners that we can ransom. And honestly, at this point, I absolutely should do... Oh, especially for a 30. Let's do that. Yes. These guys are a little bit more scrubs. We don't we don't like them as much. Oh, I, I can only ransom three. Maybe they don't have money. That tends to be the case. Because I, I'm taking all of them, their money. Faction created against me. We're just going to need to figure out how to deal with this faction, really. The city of Limia. Or Limia. Lima! That's the name of the river. No, it's not. There is a river there. No, that's the Minho. Interesting name, but um, it's hopefully pronounceable. If you heard me pronounce it. It's not as bad as Bacalhau. <laughs> the new sound is, is out of this world. I know, I know. And now we can ransom the other scrub for 10. And we are getting money. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So, in terms of war score, we're now at 98, and we have a current situation. We now have the the mayor again, so we're going to ransom. This is just brilliant. Our counselor, Liu Veriku, has died of old age. Mm. So, who are you? You were a counselor. Well, I guess that's good, because you're not part of this. The king still needs a marshal, or a steward, but that's not going to be me. Nobody is, apparently. Nobody likes managing the, the, the country. And now we need to make sure we are invading the right people. Because I don't really need to go here. I just need to invade more of Lyon. And I think the war score is just going to tick up. So the best thing to do is to go, for example, here. To Bonavent, where I've been as well. Make sure I know where the capital is. Which is over there. So what I do is I click right there. I'm not sure if there's a better way of doing this, you know, sort of like, uh, I think something good has happened. Sort of like uh, making sure you're going to the in the right direction. So a new bishop, Gomsh, over here, who endorses me. He's very nice, hopefully, although possibly not. Actually, we can see if he's nice or not. He is temperate, okay. That's, that's kind of good. He's gregarious and craven. Cons conscientious scribe, a monk, and a drunkard. He sounds like a nice fella. And then Ransom has been accepted, but that's about it. So we are now 
I might be able... Yeah, I still don't, cannot enforce the men's. I think it's a 99 that you can enforce the men's. So these guys are probably going to die. Who is this army? That's the Count. No. The enemy army. It's one single knight. And we can even tell who this knight is. Herman the, Cantabri the Cantabria. He's a bastard, I believe. But not as a bad person, but rather as a person who is not born in wedlock. So we're going to murder him, most likely. He's running away. That sounds like a good thing. Ransom has been accepted. Our money situation is lovely. Our war score is not ticking up. No, it is ticking up. In fact, enforced amends might work. They don't. I thought it was 99. That's, well, apparently, you need to have a positive war score thing. I just heard that. It's very important because now we can enforce the men's and we don't need to fight anymore. This is good news because we're losing quite a lot of money. But we're also going to lose all of our troops, which may not be that much of a problem. So, enforce the demands. I think we're going to lose our, all of our troops. Wait a minute. Count of Riku. Are you my prisoner? Maybe I could torture you just to show you what's good. Do you have a child? You have a child. I can't invite to court or anything. The child, I mean. But you... You are... The Count of Surya. Wait a minute. I'm first in line... I'm third in line to inherit inherit the Count of Surya. So if I got, for example, King Veramondo killed, I would be first in line to inherit the kingdom, or the, the county, rather. But the kingdom of Asturias, I would be first in line as well. Did your all of your sons die? Your wife is very young, so you might get more. Hmm. Our levies seem to be disappearing, which I understand. Count Savariku... If I declare war against this guy, that would be because of my claim. That might be a good idea, since we're here and they're elsewhere. He's allied to Count Peru. So Count Peru might actually... Hmm, that's bad news. Because Count Peru might actually declare war against me. He's my vassal, though. He's like... It's, well, not only my vassal, he's in my council. Or... It's not council. What is it called? It is council, yeah. So we're going to declare war here. And we're going to gain Coruña right now. This doesn't cost me too many, too much prestige. Oh, I can't declare war. Not at the moment, anyway. I think I need to have all of my armies in my land. and That's, that's what's going on with the war, the declaration. Let's wait a little bit. Here we are. Okay. And this is very good. Because now I can declare war. No, I can't. Don't fully understand it, but we don't need to worry. Let's enforce our demands. Greetings, Duque Marano of Portugal. Peace be with you. This is the baby who writes, obviously. You are much great. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. And I gain fame, very little, and also a little bit of prestige, very little. And uh, they have to spend it, so they're basically transferring it to me. However, Coruña is now mine, and that's very important. Who owns Kur or who's here? Here, it's... Oh, it's my own. Can I hold this? How many titles do I have? Four titles. That's a bit of a problem, because I don't think I can have that. You can create the Duchy of Galicia, which I will. I can also ransom the Count. Which I will as well, because I need the money. Go for it. It might be a bad idea, but still, we don't, we're not going to invade to the east. That sounds like a terrible plan. Low control over counties. That's also more or less what I expected. How many titles can I have? I can have four. It's the, doma it's the holding specifically. So I have four titles, which means I have three domains. Or rather, three holdings. My domain is the whole thing. I see, I see. And of course, I'm, I'm claimed to a bunch of things. That's good, that's good, that's really good. Because I'm probably going to kill the mayor of Astorga over here. Hopefully. Hmm. So I could disband. I, I really don't understand this. I'm very concerned. Let's see if we can declare war. We cannot declare war. I think I need to disband all my armies. Let's find out. Yes, please. And now declare war. That's how that works. Let's wait a little bit. We can use 
little reprieve. Oh, look at my beard! My beard has grown at the age of 18 into the beard of an old man. My wife hates it. She is looking at me with... She does not enjoy that. Okay, 20 years or 2 years until... Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna need to bring my levies up. I understand. I think I understand. That number up there. It's not the total. How could I not understand that before? I'm so sorry. It's very obvious, but it's not the total. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our wife to help out with politics because we really need to be able to... Ransom has been accepted. That's really good. To be able to sway her that or actually seduce her. That might be a bad idea considering there's such a low chance. But she hates me, so I really don't know. What's my heir? My line of succession. My half-brother. Yeah. It's all good. And she was ma like, it, it, yeah, it, it works well enough. Something expensive. A gift is certain to catch the, the my wife's attention, and surely anyone would appreciate a fine, clearly expensive one. And I can afford this. Although, th that doesn't seem to be the point here. She's paranoid. She's generous. She's ambitious. She's Midas touched. I did not realize that. She's pretty good at managing. I think I might have put her in that position before. And she, as an, she's Amazonian, which is their Kulian. This is lovely. Our children will be amazing. In fact, Fort over here is robust, which is a congenital trait that probably comes from from that. This one over here, in specific, is plus four, and this one is plus eight. And the health is huge. She's going to outlive us all. This is going to be amazing. So we have a tapestry featuring her dynasty, which would be lovely. A purebred horse must be appreciated. Or a tailor to dress her to perfection. So I would think she's ambitious. So a tapestry featuring her dynasty might be a good thing. I would expect that to be the case. Let's see if the, cha the chances changed. I think they changed. The, the, the game tells me. Greetings, Duque Marano of Portugal. Thank you so much for the dynastic tapestry you gave me. I can scarce remember the last time I received such a wonderful gift. Well, thank you very much. And that brings that up to 35. Hopefully, we'll get other opportunities to seduce her well. For the moment, we're waiting uh, for our army to get back in position. So, oh my god. Did I maim you? Oh, he's, you're wounded. That's fine. Very sorry about that. I thought I was going to be able to ransom him again and she's now pregnant N this time they're definitely with me i mean i say definitely i don't know if she has other affairs fate smiles upon me my wife duchess hema is bearing my child that's that's usually a good sign if the game doesn't tell you you know i didn't i haven't been with her even even though you're seducing her i assume the game might tell you i haven't been with her for last little bit and she's now pregnant what is this you can unlock a new perk for the martial thing that is very nice because i haven't looked at this yet Let's see. So we got the trait of strategist, if I ever get down there, which I hopefully will. Or the trait of overseer. Control growth plus five. Very interesting. That's actually not a bad thing at all. Or gallant. That increases the attraction opinion. I like it. I like it. Stalwart leader. That would add to prowess. Scheme power. Unfortunately, well, spouse opinion plus 50 might be a good thing. Loyalty and respect. I could go that way. But my wife is pregnant, and I think, think I, I, I think my chances are good. Peace acceptance. I like that as well. Army gold maintenance, maintenance here on the overseer. That's really nice for lowering, lowering the maintenance. And friendly territory level, level reinforcement rate increased as well. Mercenary higher cost by reduced by 30%. That is brutal. I like this. I'm going to go with overseer. Serve the crown. Natural dread plus, five, plus 15. I don't like that, but control growth is good. Natural one, I think, just over time. It could be that it only activates when I have my marshal working on things. We're really powerful. This is a good opportunity for us to be us. Because if we were our father, I wouldn't be as powerful. 